Blessed are all of you who have come here in the name of God to celebrate these two beautiful people. We welcome our bride and groom, Rebecca and Kaveh, to their wedding chuppah, and we welcome each of you, their family and friends, to this sacred space. For being here tonight. It really means the world that you traveled so far just to celebrate us getting married, finally. So thank you so much for being here. Truly, even just seeing all of you here in one place means the world to us. to look around and see so many people who have grown up with or gotten to know and love Becky and Cave. When Becky was 10 years old and I was writing notes in this little diary to remember things that the girls would say, Becky said, and I saved, imagine loving someone, times that by a million, times that by a billion. I don't know how that could be. Well, no more imagine. Look at all these amazing, very well-dressed, beautiful people, your family and friends that love you and support you. And we are all here today because of you. And we love you guys so much to rejoice in your marriage. We stand in front of a castle and under this beautiful chuppah, the symbol of your new home that you have started to build together. Its sides are open, symbolizing your new home as a place open to family and friends, a harbor from life's storms, a haven of peace, a stronghold of love and kindness. Good evening, everyone. My journey with Rebecca started the first time that I looked into her eyes. I remember when she was born, I looked into her eyes and I said, well, what could she be thinking? What could Rebecca be thinking now? And I think now, after 28 years of knowing Rebecca, I know what she was thinking the minute I looked into her eyes. She said, Dad, what are you looking at? I have a lot to do. Let's get going. That's just saying, why are you wasting my time right now? Let's get going.
Rebecca and Kave, this is a magical, beautiful time for all of us and especially for you. You love and respect each other. You get each other. You have each other's back in good and not so good and everything in between. Remember, I love you. I am sorry. I was wrong. Communicate, compromise, forgive, be kind, love and show your love and be considerate. Hi everyone, I welcome all of you and it is my pleasure to welcome Rebecca to our family. In the past year, we were fortunate to meet lovely Rebecca family and get very close to them. As a parents, we are very proud to see Kave, our son getting married to such a warm and intelligent woman. And we are delighted that Kave has found someone which makes you so happy. Becky, how can I ever repay you for the great love and affection you have graciously given to my dearest friend? Words fail me in describing your adoration and dedication to Kaveh, and even more so in describing your sheer brilliance and determined attitude. I remember the day that Kaveh told me you had decided to go to medical school and become a doctor. Becky could do this, and you did do this, and you're sitting here today in front of us as a doctor. <laughs> I stand here in admiration of everything that you've accomplished and everything you have yet to accomplish while still finding time to build a life with my dearest friend. Kave, we're finally here, and I could not be more proud of you, and the journey you've taken to get to this point. The Greek philosopher Aristotle said, the antidote for 50 enemies is one friend. I have spent much of my time amongst many enemies, in good and bad places alike, but through it all, your friendship has kept me whole. It has been a beacon in the darkness for what seems like my whole life. I have been so fortunate to have always known I could rely on your friendship in the most troubling times. A sentiment I know that both Becky and you share in your unwavering love and devotion to each other against whatever enemies the two of you may come to face in your life.
Rebecca and Kave, you even told me, Beck, that early on in your relationship, people found your relationship bizarre because you were completely opposite people. But I think that's exactly the point. You were different and fit together so perfectly and balanced each other in a remarkable way. And the Torah teaches us that a life partner isn't just the one who supports your every move. They're also the one who challenges you, who pushes you to be your best self, and who loves you unconditionally. And that idea is you two. For generations, we have used these words and rings to create the sacred covenant of marriage. Rebecca and Kave, you are about to speak the words and exchange the rings that will formally unite you in marriage. Would this ring be consecrated to me as my wife in keeping with the spirit of our people? consecrated to me with this ring as my husband in keeping with the spirit of our people. Mazel tov! Passion makes the world go round. Love just makes it a safer place. We all know that Becky is an incredibly passionate and driven and relentless person. And she can make the world spin quite a bit. And Kave, I really think that you make this world a safe place for her. And you're her security and you're her rock. And you're the only person that can put her in her place. So thank you. I hope you never stop challenging each other. I hope you never stop growing. And I hope you never lose the passion that was in the look that Kave gave Becky the first time I met him. We praise you, Adonai, creator of joy and gladness, bride and groom, love and kinship, peace and friendship. We praise you, Adonai, who created the loving and everlasting bond between these two. May they be better together than either are apart. May they experience all of the beauty in your world. May they echo the joy and peace with which this world was created. And may they remain united in love for all of eternity. Amen. Like a broken glass, which can never be returned to its original state, the rite of marriage is a transforming experience. 
leaving you two forever changed. The broken glass also reminds us that even in a time of such joy, we cannot forget the imperfection in our world. It reminds each of us to commit our happiness towards making our world a better place. It is my great honor to now pronounce you a married couple, husband and wife, both in the sight of God and the Jewish community. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for the riding groom! So really today, we're here at the fairy tale chateau in the fairy tale countryside to celebrate a fairy tale wedding. Today is the beginning of your fairy tale's next chapter, and I cannot wait to see the amazing things that are coming to both of you because I know that it will amaze us all. And I know your story will end as every fairy tale does, happily ever after. So I wish you the best. Waiting, waiting, guys. Wait, 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 wait. I wish you a big ma zel Come on! And my pretty girl. Okay, 
come on. Although today look back, just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. You say, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. You say, ooh, ooh, shut up and dance. You say, shut up and dance. Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. This shut up and dance. This woman is my destiny. You say, ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. Ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. For all the people that aren't here, we want to raise our glasses to Rebecca and Cave. May you have all the happiness in the world and all the successes that life can bring us. And may you have good days ahead. And uh, L'chaim and Salamati. Someday I wish upon the stars Wake up where the clouds and fall behind Me When troubles made like lemon jars I am the Dutch in the mint house That's where you find me here somewhere over the rainbow. Bluebirds fly. Mr. and Mrs. Saberi, I cherish your friendship and your love. I am excited to see the fulfillment of all your hopes and desires and wish you the absolute best on what is only the beginning of an amazing journey together. May their joys be as bright as the morning and their sorrows but shadows that fade in the sunlight of love. Cheers.
I'm happy, Kave and Becky, that you have each other. May this weekend be fun, incredible, and great. Here's to their next life chapter. Cheers, salut, l'chaim, salamati, and a votre sante. You say yeah. Yeah. Aha. You say yeah.